Like we should record like our preamble, like yeah. deciding what we're going to talk. I about. I think sometimes that's why I start ranting before we talk, just to kind of get my myself going. Yeah, same. Same. Um, all right, ready? Ready. Go for it. <coughs> that way. Hey everybody, are we, welcome are back. We, are we, are we we're recording? recording. Okay, sorry. Welcome. Go again. Yeah. Thanks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fake Philosophers. I'm Mike. I'm Mitch. Welcome. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I shouldn't. Yeah. Be. Yeah. So Valentine's Day fucked me up. Yeah. <sighs> What'd you do? <laughs> Well, what didn't I do, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh. it was the first, uh, it was our first uh, Valentine's Day uh, as a married couple. Oh, nice. And I dropped the ball, man. Oh, at least you admitted it. Yeah. I heard about it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's next week. I got a few days to, to yeah. prepare for that. But anyway. Yeah. So what's up, guys? We're going to start today with um, one of our segments. Some good old fashioned segments. Good old fashioned segments. Uh, not brought to you by. The people love them. The people love them. The people ask for them. They, they demand them. Them. Um, wait, wait, wait. Not brought to you by. Wait, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> Segway. To those of you new listeners, all two of you. <laughs> um, we doubled. <laughs> not not brought to you by is a segment Mitch came up with, and I thought it was brilliant, where we we, we don't um, endorse something. We, we do the opposite. We trash it. And it has nothing to do with the actual product. It has to do with their irritating advertising. Yes. Um, nothing to do with the product. Uh, this one that I have today. This episode. Might actually have something to do with the product as well. <laughs> but mainly advertising. And I thought this since I was like 13 years old. So today's episode not brought to you by uh, McDonald's. 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 I've heard of them. I've they're seen them the, around. <laughs> they're the Coke to Burger King's Pepsi. Sure. Go yeah. ahead. And Carl's Jr.'s Dr. Pepper, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. And, I, in, and out, in and Out is just a good cold beer. You know, that's in, a, in and Out's the uh, soda that you get at the specialty shop. Yeah, the local yeah. cola. Yeah. And uh, Baker's is RC. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, I've had a thing. I felt a certain way about McDonald's for probably two decades now. So and I'm I'm actually gonna the phrase eludes me um, virtue signaling. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. Uh oh. Um, and I'm gonna be speaking for black people here too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great start. Yeah, this is a great Which, start. If, no, if we and if we have black people in the audience and, and they feel a certain way, I would encourage you to, to 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 comment and let me know what you think. Having not heard you yet, I can tell you they're pissed off. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm saying that. Like, no, because there, there is like this thing where, and I remember uh, black friends of mine have said like, yeah, we know white guys like that. To where like, if if we're in a group and there's like three or four of us white dudes and like a black guy, and one of us is like, oh, well, here's a black joke. There's someone like, yo, no. <laughs> like, what you, year is it, dude? Even, even if the black guy is laughing, yeah. there's that one white guy like, Whoa, no. No, I don't think I'm uncomfortable with that. This is, I'm, this is I'm wrong. Uncomfortable don't you that. care what he thinks? Oh my and God. guy's like, uh, it's funny. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna be kind of that guy right now. The the no guy. Yeah. Okay. No. The, but I remember because <laughs> even even um, as a kid, like I would say like 12, 13, McDonald's like changed their advertising up to where because at first it was like you know ba 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 ba. I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. Yeah. And then it somehow turned into like a hip hop like ba 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 ba. We loving it, and it's like <laughs> we loving it. And so it was, but it was so like minstrel showy yeah that i was like this does offend me this is so because this is obviously pandering yeah and this was uh, it's kind of like do you remember when hillary clinton was on um i always forget the name of the show in new york a radio show like a hip-hop radio show i do not remember that. and they did an interview and they were just asking her they're like so what do you what's something that you have on you at all like at all times and she's like yeah. hot sauce <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and even, even I think it was Charlemagne the God, the guy's name. Uh, I forgot what the, the show's called. I'll remember okay. it as soon as you stop. Okay. But like, it, it, you could tell all three of, of like the black hosts are all like tilted their head, like, "What the fuck did you say?" And they're like, "Really?" She's like, "Yeah, hot sauce, absolutely." And I was like, "Jesus Christ, Hillary!" <laughs> was it kind of like when Joe Biden during the debates came went, out and started playing the the Latino oh, music? Yeah, it was kinda. like that kind of. Oh my god. Um, but it was just like, what? <sighs> yeah. It turns out, I guess Hillary Clinton is a big hot sauce person, but still, yeah, like that. Like I, I would, I would, oh, I would have laid into it. Like, what kind? Yeah. Uh, what kind? What do What's you? What's on you? On? What's on you? Do you have some? Yeah. Like, 
And she's like, I love hot sauce. Here's some tapatillo. Oh, tapatillo. Tapatillo. No, uh, but no, but the, that kind Sorry, of thing. back to McDonald's. Yeah, but that kind of thing, I'm just kind of like, what? Um, and yeah, so they started doing like these ad campaigns that were just so like on the nose, like we're going after the urbans. And, and, and I, so I was like, this is fucking obnoxious. <laughs> like if I was a black person, I would stop going there. It was just stupid. There was like yeah. one commercial where it's like, yo, man, like we're in the studio. Like you see them all like, like doing their, like mixing their music. And like, who's Ooh. gonna go run to Mickey D's? Oh my God. And I was like, oh my God. This is fuck, like, this is the old white people like putting braids in their hair because <laughs> their, their kids' black friends are coming over. I was like, this is so bad. Fuck you, McDonald's. And then there was, this actually has nothing to do with the, the black thing. Happy Black History Month. <laughs> the black thing. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Black History Month. Oh, we are going to get canceled for sure. Yeah, that, at least uh, it'll be an improvement yeah. on, our, on our viewers. Yeah, you know um, what? Yeah, hey. Ha, ha. <laughs> no, um, it, so some context, though, like when I when I was like in middle school and high school, uh -huh. the majority of my friends were black. So well, you were in sports. Uh, <laughs> not swimming. <laughs> Should I leave? Or? But real sports. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my God. No, but uh, yeah. And, and so like I did have a lot of close black friends. Like it was actually a joke in high school. It's like, oh, he's an orc. An Oreo, but like reversed. Gotcha. You're like, the token white guy. Sort of. It's in some circles. Yeah. So I did. In, and I'm not saying like, I was one of you, oh, but God. like, because I'm not. But like, so there was certain things like when it came to blacks, like I, I was maybe a little oversensitive on just because of my group of friends. You got away with some stuff, but you were extra sensitive to other stuff. I did get away with a lot. See? Yeah. There was. Uh, I'm not going to say that, actually. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, actually a good, it's actually a good story. But not for real. But it's kind of like, mm, maybe okay. there was. So the the I most see a sound bite of it already. No, the most thug guy in our grade, um, like he was straight thug. Yeah, would let me say the n word to him. Lucky. <laughs> no, and I I would I would abuse it because he would be around all of his thug friends, but he's alpha thug. Oh okay. Yeah. So then I would on purpose because I had a little bit of balls on me when I was a kid. Yeah. Go up to him and say, "Hey man, what's up?" My N word and, and, and everyone would be like, What the fuck? And then when he would smile and like <laughs> shake my hand, they'd all be like, Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, he's cool. cool. Anyway, yeah, this is gonna get canceled. Um, <laughs> no, so no, but so I would see these commercials and I was like, This is fucking obnoxious. Yeah, and I think even someone like in the early days of YouTube made like fake parody commercials where you saw like a guy running down the street stealing McDonald's <laughs> and like a cop grabs him. And it's just anyway, uh. yeah, so it was just to me, it was like, How hard do you have to pander? Yeah, to a specific group, it'd be it'd be like hypothetically, and, and granted, I'm I'm not into country music, but like if I was in a country music, and like McDonald's came out with a commercial where a guy was like in his truck, pulling a trailer with horses and his cowboy hat, yeah. and he's like, after a day on the ranch, it's, it's Garth Brooks. <laughs> I, I, after a, after a day on the ranch, nothing hits the spot like a Big Mac. Just like Mama used to make, and then like bring like a, a guitar stroke. A Big Mac, like the way Mama. I don't know. Used to, I'm trying yeah, to think okay. of country shit, and <laughs> <laughs> and but like if they did that, and then like he started playing a song, whatever Garth Brooks plays. Yeah. Um, Desperado. I don't know what the fuck he plays, but uh -huh. he's like, yeah. And then he starts singing a country song about a Big Mac, and he's like, this is how we do it out in the country. If I was in a country, I'd be like, who the fuck made this? You know what I mean? I'd be like, I'd, I'd be offended. I'd be like you. Pieces of shit. <laughs> Somehow out there, a legitimate cowboy is like, the fuck? Well, first of all, he would be watching TV. It's for all the people who think they're country because they went to, to, to stagecoach. I'll say the stagecoach yeah, country yeah, yeah. fans. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what that's But for. no, I, I would be, if I was a country fan and I saw that, I'd be like, this is obnoxious. Not go to McDonald's, yeah. Like, it's, it's, no, okay, when we talk about these things, they're normally like, it's like black and white, maybe yeah. Mexican. Like, can you imagine McDonald's pandering to like Asians? No, but that'd be, maybe, I don't know how yeah. they would. Yeah, but yeah. There was a, a I, I actually have another episode, bro. Should I, should I, should I say it? Well, I'll just, kinda... one more with McDonald's. And this is when I, I just threw in the flag or threw in the towel. Both. Yeah. I threw the flag. Threw that yellow flag. Threw the yellow flag. Yeah. And then I switched the sport and threw in the towel. Gave up. Gave up. Yeah. On McDonald's. And I literally refused to go to McDonald's. Um, it wasn't my weird rant about the machine, was it? That well, that just weird. added on to oh, it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that piled it on. <laughs> I literally saw a commercial... And it was two guys, and they they have to be careful about it. kind of like when Jack in the Box came out with their Munchie menu, okay, their Munchie Box, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're not going to say we, you know what they're right, who they're right, going right, for, right, right. Um, it's the same kind of thing. These two guys were on their couch, and they're just like, Ugh, like you know, it's fucking. <laughs> they were in like sweats and like, yeah, yeah. They're all they're they're high. We, we know they're high. We know, yeah. but you can't say it, right? And so the, the TV switches to commercial, and then they watch a commercial for McDonald's, 
Huh. And I forgot what the commercial was, but it's like a hey, yeah, yeah, Big yeah. Macs for two dollars a piece today. Blah blah blah. And they look at each other like, let's go get McDonald's. And they're like, yeah, ba 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 ba. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is the dumbest fucking commercial. You literally, the commercial was two guys watching a commercial. A commercial That's meta though. And deciding I like it. it was stupid as fuck. I like it. No, no I, I disagree. You're wrong. I, no, I disagree. That's I think that's pretty funny. No, I was like, this is retarded. Because if imagine if you were high with your friend watching that and you saw that happen, what would you do? If I wanted, honestly, if I wanted to go for the high audience, I wouldn't have any words in the commercial. It would just be a sizzle reel of, <laughs> of juicy food. I wouldn't yeah, have, no one would say anything. Yeah. Okay. It, it's kind of, the, the, my point is kind of like uh, another dumb commercial was for um, Crown, no, Jim Beam. Okay. Jim Beam. And it, uh, Mila Kunis. Mila was Kunis, it. yeah. And the commercial was literally like, uh, so they came out with like Jim Beam Apple. Yeah. And yeah. she was like, get a shot of Jim Beam Apple. Add some club soda and garnish with the lime to make yourself a Jim Beam apple club soda with lime. And I was like, who fucking wrote this? That's fucking funny. That's wasn't the point. Supposed, no, it wasn't, that was supposed no, to be funny. No, that one it wasn't supposed to be that funny. Was a, you were in a bad mood. No, you could argue the McDonald's one was okay. maybe supposed to be funny. Okay. That one was like, because she's like doing her pose, like sexy, and it was like, yeah, but she's always wrote this? She's always done her poses ironically, though. No, but her commercials for the for Jim Beam yeah. has never been ironic yeah, or funny. Yeah, it was. It's always been kind of ironic. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it's been serious where she walks up, she writes her name on the barrel, like Jim Beam. Like All those commercials are supposed to be sleek and sexy. Okay. So somebody wrote that. Somebody's nephew that got a job, and it got like approved. It. And it got a, it got approved. <laughs> we got Apple in the Jim Beam. Fuck, what do you do with an Apple Jim Beam? I don't fucking know. Hey, but it's not. It'd be like one thing, like Jim Beam, this, this, and that, to make yourself a Jim Beam Express or, to make a name. But, but it'd no, be like, it's just the ingredients. You're gonna take <laughs> take funny. this Jack Daniels shot, fill the rest with Coke to get yourself Jack and Coke. Like <laughs> it, it's dumb. That's that's what's dumb. And that's what I, I felt like when the McDonald's commercial, it was like that. Okay. It was just like, just here's, super simple. It was like, just here's a no commercial. Creativity is dumb. Yeah. And someone, I think that's what bothers me. Like someone got paid to make that. Yeah. Like some, there was some a studio somewhere. Someone's like, okay, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. We're good. We approved. Oh, we could go, we could go all day about like, that's the best take. That's what I mean. That's though, the like, one yeah. that cleared the, yeah. No, I have another uh, episode not brought to you by, but we're getting a little long, so I won't go into that. I'll bring it up for next uh, sure. next episode. It's sure. pretty because it's in the same light as the pandering uh, yeah. to a demographic. But that that's of. why I'm I'm standing with my black people here. <laughs> Look to, not my black people. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh, do you have? Or, no, they're uh, all left. Um, I'm fucking chewed teeth. It's February, Black History Month, and I'm standing with them. That that they should not go to McDonald's with me. Okay, because of that. Okay. <laughs> tell them. You tell them. <laughs> there was one. There was one where a, a friend of mine was just, did say like, "All right, guys, I'm gonna make a run to Mickey D's. Anyone want anything?" And I was like, "They got you!" Like, <laughs> I <was> like, no. <laughs> I was like, "No." You fell for it. Yeah. It, or it's like when uh, the atheists go to Chick Fil A. It's like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> or when the gays go to Chick Fil A. Yeah. Or yeah. Well, gay. Yeah, yeah. The gay atheists. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The gay atheists. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, to, to keep it in the, the segment, like good, good, uh, good, not brought to you by, yeah. you know, fuck you, McDonald's, not going to McDonald's cause you're fucking commercial. Yeah. <laughs> you deserve to lose business because of that commercial pandering ass, pandering ass. Yeah. I mean, every business panders, right? It's called advertising, but you gotta do it but cleverly gotta, uh, come when on. it's on the yeah. nose. I'm like, no, yeah, no. It's like, Hey, you love America, right? You hate the devil, right? <laughs> then come on down to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> you like freedom, right? Drink Coors Light. <laughs> Some are just so bad and obvious. It's like, okay, that's dumb. If you like slavery, you'll drink Bud Light. If you like freedom, <laughs> drink Coors Light. I, I wait a minute. No, I hate I, slavery. I it's, can't be known. I drink. I drink Bud Light at home alone. You know, away from me. Dude, and this is a quick tangent, and then we'll get in, into the next one. So I, I was, I had jury duty a couple weeks ago, a week yeah. or two ago. Yeah. And um, they did because everyone's like, just say you're racist, and they, they're not going to pick you. Oh yeah. So I've heard that. A lot of people already know this. Like, so I'm not sure if it's just COVID. It actually it can't be just COVID because it wouldn't make sense. But they were they were asking these general questions to like all 30 of us at once. Oh. Like, raise your hand of this. Yeah. And in my head, I was thinking like maybe if I come off as a ra like an asshole, like a racist asshole, I'll get dismissed. And so they asked like, do you think um, if anyone involved in this case, their race, their sexuality, their whatever, will affect your judgment about them? Please raise your hand. And in my head, I was like, even racists are not raising their hand right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Like, <laughs> if it was like in a one on one setting, yeah, yeah. I might be like, well, you know, I was jumped by a, a black guy when I was young, just to get out of it. Yeah. Like, but these McDonald's commercials bothered me. Um, <laughs> but if it was like one on one, I'd be more confident in acting like a prick to get out of it. Yeah. But you're in a room with 30 people. You're not going to. I'm like, no. Absolutely not. They're all strangers, and I still care about what they think. Yeah, like yeah, I, I, yeah. I do not want to be the racist. There's all the comedians that say that, like real racism is quiet. It's like, hey, you know, you know, I'm not a racist, but you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> that's where but, the racism. But that's what's just funny. Like everyone talks, like, oh, just come out as a racist in front of everybody. And I was like, there's a moment I was like, should I raise my hand right now? I'm sure she'll dismiss me. But I was like, even in front of these strangers, I'll never see again. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. Because, you know, the minute you do, someone's going to pick up their phone, take a picture of you. <laughs> yeah. With this, I had this hat yeah, on. With that on. Yeah. Canceled. <laughs> anyway. Where yeah. We're, we're, I went good, good, uh, good, 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 yeah. good segment there. No, we're, uh, then we're also going to do a, uh, we're going to do a Mitch's List yes, today. Yes. So um, I <laughs> Googled survey, <coughs> survey top 10 reasons. Google search, like, you know, see what it yeah, was. Yeah, see what it First thing that came out, it must have been like an, uh, uh, a poll that was taken recently because this took me to CNN. Um, and the poll is 10 reasons Americans go to church and nine reasons they don't. I don't know why nine, because it, uh, later it says it's, oh, no, it's nine. Okay, yeah. Nine, I, think, no, it's I think things like that, it's usually like the first one's the 10, the second one's the nine, then they kind of go back and forth. No? No. No, okay. they, they list out 10, and then afterwards, okay. there's, there's nine. Let's Why not? So, uh, uh, number one, we, should we stop at the... Well, I'm going to stop at, start at the, at the at the bottom, the 10th reason people go to church, and we'll work our way up okay. to the first. No, that's dumb. I changed my mind. I'm going back. Number one reason people go to church. <laughs> <laughs> to become closer to God. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're religious, right. you go to church. I you see that. Really yeah, so. Number two, so their children will have a moral foundation. Now that one is actually pretty interesting. I kind of like that. So um, I, I I would say so. Context here: I'm not religious. Mitch is. Yeah. Um, I'm not an atheist, but I'm not religious. Um, for that one, I think I disagree with it as a fact, but I, I can agree with it as if you're a principled person, like if you, if that's your faith and you believe in it, yeah. you want your kids to have that yeah. moral fiber. I can see that. Um, I went to a wedding not too long ago. I won't say names because I don't know how how public they are about it, but she was raised Catholic mm -hmm. and I think he was kind of too, but they've both come to adult age where they're, ag she's at least agnostic turned away. You know, everyone has their shit with their history yeah. and stuff like that. And one reason or another, they're pretty much agnostic. He's more atheist leaning. I think I'm okay. not sure. Um, she's more agnostic, definitely still has that core value kind of thing, but she's, you know, not really practicing. Um, they got married in a Catholic ceremony mm -hmm. because their parents are still practicing and they wanted to honor their parents. So they sure. got married and after the marriage and all that, you know, we were hanging out with them and she had, they, they had, kind of, she had kind of told us like, yeah, well, when we have kids, we're going to start going to church. Uh, we're going to start yeah. going to mass again. Cause I want them to grow up in it, to have, even though it's not my thing anymore. Right. But I'm going to start part, doing yeah. it for the kids. Now me and my wife are like, maybe start do going before. Cause you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe get like, your, your... Yeah, you know, get some berries, like, you know, but it was an interesting thing. And I never really thought about it before they had mentioned that. And that I was is, like, that okay. Is weird. Um, but I can see, I can see, I can see why someone would do that. Someone who yeah. doesn't go to church regularly, but like I grew up with it. I don't anymore because I don't agree with blah, 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 blah. But I want my kids to grow up with it and let mm -hmm. them come with the conclusions on their own. Sure. Not be affected by my thing. Now you can yeah. make the same case for the, for oh, the yeah. other so one. I, so I think I would say though in this case, um, I my opinion is um, you don't need church for, for moral standing like or to tie in a good moral place. But I could see why someone with faith would think that. And that's why I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. It's like, well, they're kids, they're dumb. They can't really argue about it. They'll just believe whatever you tell them. So let's put them in church. And yeah. No. I mean, <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I think when it comes to it, like, we go on these tangents and I think it's fine. Uh, when it comes to it, if me and my lady have, uh, have kids, I, I probably, cause she's, she has a Jewish background. She's kind of like you said, your friend, she doesn't really practice. She doesn't go. And, right. But she's kind of, you know, she's Jewy. And, um, Jewish. Yeah, and yeah. so when we get married, like there's like one or two little tr Jewish traditions we're gonna do. But like, cool. I straight up said, I was like, I'm not converting. Like, right, right, <laughs> and right, she, right. she's not about that. She's fine with that. But, yeah. um, and so like, yeah. But so if we have kids, I would imagine like we probably won't do anything, unless like if let's be honest, like the kids like, hey, like some of these friends go to to temple and some of these friends go to church. Like, I'm curious about this. It's like, ah, right, cool. Like, I'll take. We'll take you. If you're curious, we'll take you. Right. I have yeah. my problem. I appreciate that. I like I like the kind of parents too that. If they're not 
hold into one particular ra- like real race religion, <laughs> they'll give their kids all of them. They'll expose them to all of them. Be like, I think you know, that that would be how I would do the it. The Talmud. This is the Quran. This is yeah. That, that I think that's how I would do it. Yeah, and I like. I'm like, I disagree, but I see the value in that. I think that's pretty cool. So. Um, Next. Anyway, number three, to become a better person. Why I go to church is to become a better person. I think uh, everything we uh, just talked about kind of applies the same. Yeah, I mean, you go to church to find. I mean, I I think morality is a lot more clear. <laughs> if you're having trouble about whether or not what's the right and wrong thing to do, I guess people go to church to do that. There could be that thing too that people think going to church is a good thing to do, so that's why they go to church because yeah, it's yeah. a good thing to do. But well, I think it's kind of like the previous one. I think. If people believe that, I might disagree though, but if people believe like going to church, my mother, for instance, like she's like, I feel good when I go to church. I feel like I, I'm yeah. closer to God. I feel like it makes me a better person. Yeah. And even though that doesn't apply to me, I'm like, hey, you know what? If that's great for you, on you, perfect. See, I, go, I would agree I go to church to make me a better person, not because I'm putting my time in, which I think a lot of people think. You know, I'm putting my time in. Doing the hours. You know, <laughs> doing the hours. I go because I want to learn about, okay, what? where's the church helping the community? Are there okay, mission yeah. trips? Are there volunteer kind of stuff? Um, are they donating to a charity that I can help donate to? You know, that kind of that kind of way. Sure. That, I mean, in that sense, that'd be cool. Um, number four, <laughs> yeah. Uh, reasons why someone goes to church for comfort in times of trouble or sorrow. I'm surprised that's not higher up on the list. Well, I, I don't think this is in any particular order because it's not like oh, it's it's percentage. It's it's, it's oh, this it's is like listed voted? in percentage oh, okay. of like reasons why. So this so is, is that number four or is that like number six if they're going back? This is number four. But I mean, like the is fourth it... biggest. Reason. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, you know what? I I think that's fine because even um, people who everyone has, I guess in this this sense, uh, metaphorically, a church. Okay. Like yeah, I'm having a bad time. I do when I'm I'm in this state of mind. I do this. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's I, completely valid. I read it more as someone looking for answers. Why would God do this? Okay, Why I would see. God do this? Or or I am troubled and I need to be around people who I know are going to be nice and like, you know, <laughs> that's and, pragmatic, try to, yeah. <laughs> and try to get my back a little bit. Yeah, that, you know? that's prag- so, pragmatic right there. Yeah. I, I heard it more as like a stress relief. I'm going to go comfort here for encouragement. in times comfort. of trouble yeah. or sorrow. So okay. me, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm stressed out and I'm just like having a day, yeah. GTA mowing down people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> same, dog, same. Um, No, but I think that's fine. Uh, number five. They find sermons valuable. They find the, they find the sermons valuable. I okay. think that's kind of ambiguous. I definitely do go to church because I think the pastor at my church is a, a all background in teaching. He like taught. Are you he, W-O-L? I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He uh, taught junior high math or something. So he had to be good at getting people's attention. Sure. So his sermons are very, they feel more like lectures when he, when he talks and he, and he has bullet points. He'll, he'll spend the whole hour sermon or 45 minute sermon on two or three verses. And that's it. Just like these verses, context, yeah. the original Greek words, all this kind of like, kind and, of stuff. you know so what? Very um, informative and to, to jump on that one, just to, to throw, you know, it's a, it's a positive thing. I'm going to throw water of life, a shout out. Cool. I said, W O L to keep it kind of, well, sure. yeah, yeah. water of life. No, this water is, is yeah. going to be a, a positive thing. Even as I'm not religious and I haven't been for a long time. My father also was not that religious, mm. but he would say that he enjoyed going to water of life. Yeah. And even when I went a few times to like make my mom happy, like he is Dan, Danny, yeah, Pastor yeah. Danny, yeah. he is, is actually you're right. It's like a lecture. Yeah. And even yeah, my yeah, yeah. my dad said that he was always like interested to go because, like you said, it's not like they're take, taking an entire chapter. Right. He would break down multi, like just a few verses, and even like my dad said, it's almost like a history course. Yeah. Like he, where he'll surround the, like what's happening there, like the context of the the, yeah. the time and place in history he really and, does foster more of that how to live as a christian whereas i think most I, I say most i don't have much experience but a lot of churches just harp on the this is why you need to be a christian no and i actually think and, that's why or, that that particular church i think even as, a, as someone who doesn't isn't religious like i could see just going there just oh yeah to hear him speak, absolutely yeah. it's more i guess you could say it's more he doesn't teach the mythology necessarily he teaches how you apply it right yes 100 percent. like you can learn f- you can learn physics and stuff in school, right? But if you don't know how to apply that physics, yeah, just, you know, God we're, we're, yeah. we're actors. Yeah, we, you could take an acting class, but if you've never done a play, if you're not on stage, yeah, and acting exactly, you know, yeah. and then you apply it. So I think yeah. with him, it's like, how do you apply these right. things? Right. Yeah. Because even even if you're an atheist, <clears throat> if you can still learn things from the Bible and oh, other sure. other texts, oh yeah, if you know how to apply them correctly, that's right. why I think with him specifically, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, Danny's awesome. Not so, to mention he made. I think one of my favorite things about him, he gained my respect, was I think my mom was irritated one day 
she's like, I like to go sometimes to the afternoon service. And he canceled it. And I was like, oh, like, why? Is everything okay? She's like, it's a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, that's awesome. fucking great. That's I was like, that's awesome. great. Yeah. He's not that pastor like a lot of fucking theater people do. I'm a Christian. Fucking this. this. No, uh, like. I went to a wedding once that was on Super Bowl Sunday. I could not believe it. That's awful. I could not believe it. And they were all theater people. And then the whole time they were sitting there like, who watches that? I mean, football is so archaic. That's, it's so barbaric. And who watches that? And I'm that, sitting in there. I'm like, fuck all of you. What are that, you? Uh. That is just me. That's like just inconsiderate. It's just terrible. Granted, they got a great deal on the venue. Well, sure. but, <laughs> and, and you know what? It's one of those things, too. If like, let's say I have a, I have a hundred people on my list. Yeah. But Uncle Joe, who's a big Rams fan. <laughs> He's I don't. Not gonna go. I don't. I don't want him to go. Oh, what he we, <laughs> What? Super Bowl. Yeah. No. Those. These. This couple is listening. Is probably listening, and they're. They, no, I don't care. I'll tell them to their face. I don't give a shit. No, but it, it's. I think that is. Uh, there's. There. There might be pastors out there like who watches football. You shouldn't be watching football. Or even you should be home. Football's and, yeah. fine, but it's the Lord first. So. Yeah. 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 It's football Sunday. Come on. No, yeah. but I. I love that. And then he also told the joke uh, about Jesus trying to walk, showing someone how he walked on water. Yeah. And he fell in. <laughs> They're like what the hell? And he's like, "Well, last time I tried, and I have holes in my hands." And like, I guess, I guess Dan said that joke on like an Easter Sunday one. Yeah. And every, and some people are like, oh. he's like, yeah. "Come on, guys!" Like, oh come on, yeah, yeah, he's great. He's no, great. So he's good. He like does, him. he does some fun stuff. Like he, the one callback he, thing he says in almost every sermon is like, "We have a the, you know, you do this and you do that. We have a theological term for that. It's called stupid." And like everyone's like, all the new people are like, "Oh my god, you know, it's Jesus, that's great." He does do the shake the hands of everyone around you. He does do that. So I don't like that. That is just a church thing. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, they yeah, they like, hey, say hi to the people around you, whatever. But at least they're not the hey, partner up and pray kind of kind of type. Does that happen? Oh, it's a thing. Oh fuck. I ditch on that shit. I would I, I have an emergency. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh we're moving along, moving along, moving along. Sermon's valuable. That was number five. Number six, to be a part of a faith community. Yeah, I mean, this uh, goes back to like the kids thing, wanting to be, surround them with people that you agree with. Yeah, and not to mention just um I always give people shit about joining frats and sororities. I'm like, you're applying for friendship. But I can see, especially with kids, and even if you, like, hypothetically, let's say you and your, your wife, for whatever reason, had to move to um, Chicago. Mm. What's a good way for you to meet people right. in Chicago? We'll jump into the church. Find yeah. the local church. That's right. nice. Right. But meet people. If yeah. you have kids, like, they'll meet people. Like, right. it's... So if it, we I can see that. If we weren't religious, it'd be like a, a jump into the theater. What's, uh, you know, sure. that's with a lot of kindred... Yeah. people there we'll go to the breweries so, you know we like you'll meet we people, like yeah. to drink but we're not like getting drunk all the time you know and, well and, and you know what uh, even like there's people i know um the what i'm drinking right here like those guys at hop secret yeah those like i was talking about the other day and he even said like yeah we've kind of become friends over the years because like awesome. i do business with them like it's, right and so, so if that's your priority if religion is like and faith is a priority in life you obviously want to find people in that so yeah but you're right it's to, to feel part of a community uh, yeah. the human most humans i might say all humans most humans want to be part of something yeah so i would say all I would say all. There's some that are more vocal about it, but yeah, everyone's... Well, those psychopaths. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, kill them. It's fun. No. Uh, number seven, to continue their family's religious traditions. Okay, so like a family obligation, maybe. I guess, To yeah. continue yeah. family's yeah. tradition, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the, the, the Jewish people have a big part of that, like yeah. passing down... Yeah, you know, that's their whole thing, is passing down. <laughs> <laughs> they pass over, yeah. <laughs> number, eight, number eight is they feel obligated to go. I mean, I feel like that again. I'm surprised that one isn't near the top because I think that one's not near the top because no one wanted, no one to, wanted say to say it. it. <laughs> yeah, no one wanted to say it out loud. Oh my god! I think if you went to a church on any given Sunday, huh, and you, I bet if everybody were absolutely honest, completely anonymous poll, half of them are there because they felt obligated to go. Some of the most religious people I know yeah. have told me they hate going to church. I hate getting up in the morning getting dressed and going mm -hmm. to church i go because i know it's good for me mm -hmm. and if it gave my choice i would not go but you know sometimes you're like well my wife really wanted to go so i felt like i should go yeah. and i should go because god tells me to go you know? well I, I i know i knew um a guy in high school who you wouldn't he's one of those guys you would never guess it but like very religious guy and he openly was like i i fucking hate church yeah but if you ask like uh what what's ezekiel 34 Two, I don't know. There's not thirty. I'm, I'm just fucking joking. <laughs> just kidding. But, I don't know. <laughs> but you, you you say a verse and he'll know it. Wow. Because he yeah yeah he take it's his own thing. Like right. he'll, he'll he reads his Bible yeah religious religiously <laughs> and um huh. but but he hated going to church because he's just like I don't like it's boring it's yeah. not inspiring yeah uh, granted it, he might have even went through a boring one I don't know but he said he's like it's boring it's not inspiring I don't connect to it mm. so I do 
my thing. Yeah. I don't go to church. I do my thing. I read and I have my own my own thing. There's a separate like, cool. there's a separate conversation and it might be big enough that we can reserve for its own episode, but I have a huge opinion on people who are religious or are uh, identify as a particular faith and then say they don't go to church, they're more internal about their faith. They're mm-hmm. more about self-practicing. I have a huge problem with that because I'm like one of those people that believe one of those psychos that believe the only religion you're going to pl- completely agree with is one you make up. And when hmm. you start having a truth that is only yours and only internal, you can believe pretty much anything. And it's I up, see what you mean. It's up mm-hmm. to a standard and a group. You need both. You do need that internal and you do need that external. Okay, I see what you mean. Because it's kind of like, um, I'll be careful with my words here. It's kind of like if someone makes a scientific claim right, and they don't get fact-checked or peer-reviewed, right. but they make this claim. Right, right, right. But no, they're not letting anyone... Yeah. into it uh, yeah exactly it, it, yeah. it's like okay then you're you're not credible and you could be incorrect right, right. um so if, if some doofus granted this guy seemed pretty <laughs> humble about it it wasn't like he's like i'm better i know my shit yeah he's pretty humble about it, but i could see someone like reading it it's taking it's, the interpretation to what they want right, it to be right and not yeah. we have <laughs> i don't think the case needs to be made that people can find a quite a few different interpretations on a several verses of the bible mm-hmm. and and that's why the danger of you taking the Bible alone and read. This is why the Catholic Church used to have their shit together when they didn't allow the common people to read the Bible. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm I, know, joking. I know, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. I had a friend who like made that point all the time. He's like, because people are dumb. They don't know how they, they found out how to read and then they interpreted the, everything for themselves. And they're dumb. They shouldn't have to make those decisions. It should be up to the people in charge to tell them what to believe. <laughs> so, and it's oh. one of those moments. It's like the meme from uh, uh, Winter Soldier. Did you ever watch Winter Soldier? Yeah, yeah. And when he's like, He's out of line, but he's, he's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, anyway, we should have a segment. I he's out of line, but he's he's out of line, but he's right, and and bring up yeah, controversial just bring shit. up just total fucked up things. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good. One. I'm gonna write that down. Write that down later. You out were here. Of, you were here, ladies and gentlemen. You were heard it first. Out of line, but quote quote that. Okay. Um, obligated to number nine of ten reasons to go to church to meet new people or socialize. Yeah, we kind of to be part of a faith community. How's that different than meeting new people? I mean, yeah, I mean. Uh, if I were single, I'd be wanting to pick up checks at a church. I don't want to go to a bar. What the fuck? I want to put out. I'm going to church. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the local Catholic chapter. <laughs> They're crazy over there, man. Uh, to meet new people. Yeah. I mean, you touched on that. That's, when yeah. you move, that's where you go. Um, number 10, to please their family, spouse, or partner. Well, I mean, yeah. That I think that kind of goes in with the obligation yeah, thing, too. Yeah. Obligated and family tradition and whatnot, but... Yeah, again, that's lowest. 16% of the people said that. I don't buy that to please their family or spouse. Again, if you went and, and anonymous poll the whole church, more than half would say they, they're oh, here yeah. because their family oh, yeah. took them here. I so, think my dad started going to church because he wanted to. <laughs> I don't think anybody did. <laughs> I I had to make deals with my mom. Like She's like, okay, we're going to buy you a paintball gun, but you have to go to church for oh, at least this. Wow, yeah. No, the, my mom, there's a, there's a verse in the Bible that... It's great because it kind of, I think it's it's one of the things I've based a lot of my philosophy on. It's um, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's one of those like everyone could do their own thing, but in my house, in my house, we serve the Lord. That's so my, mom's right. was like my mom thinks like well, when you're 18 and you moved out, you can make all the decisions you want. But if you're gonna live here, you're gonna go to church on Sundays. You're gonna go to school and you're gonna learn a musical instrument. As long as you're here, that's what you do. And so she she was putting the Christian twist on the whole under my roof. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, and it's like under yeah. It's, again, I guess that verse can be interpreted a couple ways, but <laughs> no. But that was her thing, and I'm like, you know what? I like that. I like that. It's the 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 bridge between everyone should be allowed to do what they want to do as long as they don't affect me. Unless they're causing harm, I'm going to intervene. Um, yeah. But for my family, in my kingdom, in these walls, this is what we do. Yeah. And this is my you know. I'll put you through that fucking wall. Okay, so that was the 10 reasons. I liked it. That was a good one. Thank you, CNN. Uh, this is uh, from CNN.com. All right. Look at me. Who am I? Look I don't even know. God, I don't even recognize Buying you. Buying into this shit. It's all fake. <laughs> it's fake news. It's right, but it's fake. Number. Okay, so now uh, according to Pew... Oh, this is according to a Pew poll. That must be why there was a lot of... Anyway, uh, that was the top 10... The top reason survey responders gave for skipping regular religious services. Here's the whole list. So the ten, nine reasons why people... Let, let's start from the weak ones. Let's go from the bottom. Okay. Um, nine reasons why people don't go to church. Mm-hmm. The, the least one was no house of worship in the area. That was 7%. <laughs> that... 
Uh, no, I don't buy that. No. Well, I, I mean, especially now because you can, well, I, I haven't been to a church yeah. in probably a couple months, but I watch it online every week. So do, do you think this includes the online, the streamings? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. Actually. Cause I was going to say, even without the streaming, like you're, have you driven across the country, like through the Passover States? Yes. So you, you, from, you've, from North Carolina all the way to, excuse oops, me, sorry, Mike. <laughs> to so North Carolina to California. Yeah. So you, you've been through those, oh, those fun States, those where it's just hours yes. of nothing. Yes. You're telling me on one of those random exits <laughs> that there's not Billy Bob's church. Here's what I saw. I see this. I went it going, going lengthwise. I've seen it when I did the long ways up California and mm-hmm. you go through the east side of the Sierras and you see nothing. You will see a steeple. You'll see yes. nothing, nothing, nothing. Trees, a steeple. You'll see churches there, everywhere. That one I'm going to call bullshit on. Well, that's the least one. No, no, no but yeah. I'm going to call bullshit. Even if it's the least one, I'm going to yeah. call bullshit because it's like, no. If you... If you <laughs> Are a church goer because yeah. that one is implying that they are a church goer. Uh-huh. There's but they a, just can't a lack of them. It, yeah. No, I think if they if they actually took the effort, yeah, then it would. I would buy it if it was like I don't. There's not a, a house of worship that I agree with. That that's, I would. That I would, would also, make yeah. sense. But then I go back to well, it's the religion you make up that you completely agree with. But anyway, um, when I lived in Bishop, Bishop is a is a town of four or five thousand people. Nice big one. A very small town. And I shit you not. 13? 14. 14 churches in that town. Oh, yeah. 14 different church, different sects, all the, all the you know, Methodists, uh, uh, Seventh-day Adventists, Mormons, Jehovah's Witness, all the, everything, all yeah. in this one little tiny ass town. It was amazing. Crack me up. But. No, yeah. No, even um, my, my mother and um, my grandparents, uh, they grew up, well, didn't grow up there. My mom grew up in Jasper, Alabama, which to, wow. to 99% of the country who doesn't know where Jasper, Alabama is. I assume it's, it's in the South? It's in Alabama. Uh-huh. Uh, yes, yeah, it's in the South because it's in Alabama. <laughs> um, that was the joke. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's like out. I think it's actually getting a little bigger now. But it, for the longest time, it's like one of those rural, small towns. Everyone knows everyone. Sure. So we'd go there, though. And yeah, like between driving from my grandparents' house and like the grocery store. Yeah. At least three or four. See, I and used to think that was a, an American thing, a strictly American thing. Until, well, I've been to England. And if you've ever been to England, there's a lot of churches in England. Oh, yeah. And it's just so many. Like my, my brother-in-law's a, a vicar in this little town. I remember you telling me. And... It, it's this little town of like a few hundred people. They have this epic stone cathedral church that he also vickers at the neighboring town where they have another mm-hmm. epic cathedral church. It's it's and they're everywhere. So yeah, bullshit. Yeah, that, that you could find one if you wanted. You to. could find it. That you did make a point with the asterisk. If it's something like you can't find one that you agree with, then that's fine. If I were to find a non, what's the word? Charismatic. No, a charismatic non-denominational church, which is what Water of Life is. Yes. And it's one of the reasons why Water of Life is really cool is because they're non-denominational. Anyone like, can you know, go they, in there, yeah. they appreciate all the denominations. It'd be hard for me to find a charismatic non-denominational Christian church in Yemen. <laughs> if I lived in Yemen, it'd be hard for me to find that. But that's, again, that's not the same thing because it's, you, you, it's something you, you'd have to agree with. Like, you don't find one that you agree with. <laughs> you can find a church. But anyway, okay, that was number nine. Number eight. Uh, reasons people don't go going from least to most common reason, least uh, second least common reason, uh, poor health or mobility. Why you don't go to church because, uh, you know, yeah. So I'm, I'm surprised that wouldn't be farther up. Yeah. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that even the nine, why I don't go to church are, are still among people who go to church. The reasons, religious people reasons that, well, we'll see as we get closer, but yeah. so far these are pretty legitimate because <laughs> it sounds like there, there are people who are religious just right. they, they sh- why they don't go to church. legitimate reasons. Like they want to, they just yeah. can't the mobility thing. I would actually, um, I would say, okay, I know there's some churches that actually will like send buses out. Oh yeah. To people, but, yeah, yeah. but I could see like that being, that'd legit. be a thing for yeah. sure. Uh, number seven, they don't have the time. Uh, no, uh, no, there's, <laughs> I would most to, churches do several services and most of them, I mean, they're all on Sunday, but if you can't find time for an hour or two, it's like saying you don't have time to, there's more of a case to be made that you don't have time to work out and people somehow find an hour to do that every yeah, day. Yeah. I mean, I, that, I would have to like, that, you have to get specific with that. Like if you're like, I work as a janitor at a, a grocery store that it's only open Sundays. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, then do pastors go to church? Well, I have this argument all the time about people who say they don't work on Sundays. And I'm like, well, yeah, you don't work on Sundays because you won't work on the Sabbath. I'm like, well, okay, the Sabbath doesn't say Sunday. The Sabbath is your Sabbath. Pastors work on Sunday. Well, you know, like it's, 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 
that's a whole other. logistical. Yeah, I have a I have a problem with companies like Chick Fil A and uh, Hobby Lobby and other where they close on Sundays because they're like you know we don't work on Sundays and that kind of thing. And I'm like, it's literally law in California that you can't work seven days in a row, so they force you to not work one of the days. Mm-hmm. Make that be your Sabbath. Make that be you know anyway. That's it. Like I said, it's other other rant. Yeah. Um, number six. It's kind of cut off. It's kind of hard to see the numbers, but number six. Uh, next most frequent reason they don't feel welcome it's kind of vague okay so i'll, I'll say this i the the lowest one i can't find one uh and, no house of worship in the area yeah the i can't find one one and this one they don't feel welcome i could i could excuse the the, the last one does that make sense yeah. like <laughs> if you if, if fine you you move to a little hole like at it like out in the middle of nowhere town yeah and there's one church and you go there and they all stare at you as soon as you walk in yeah okay i'll yeah. go with that i'll go with that okay yeah don't feel welcome okay number five uh they don't like the sermons i mean okay that yeah i feel like there's gonna i feel like there will be another one that'll like be more in line with that they don't like the sermons what why because they're boring they're not informative Sure. Because then now we're, we're not even talking about a specific church. We're talking about like every church that like they don't like the sermons. They don't like the sermons of a particular church or church in general. Well, so, okay. So hypothetically, um, let's say after tending water of life for years, you go to Yemen. Yeah. <laughs> and there's three churches in the small town you move to. And each one, you're just like, this is fucking awful. <laughs> like, is it coming yeah. out, coming out of water of life? Yeah. So what, what would you keep going? Yeah, I would. I mean, I'd I'd bear through it, but well, I, I mean, can you, see I can see that. But you point. Could, but you yeah. can cheat because Water of Life streams their shit. <laughs> so I mean, you you, you can yeah. do that. But so I you know I would go back to say why I go to church. So many reasons, and the sermons is like a happy bonus. Like okay. there's community, okay. there's reasons, but like the sermons are kind of like well, I don't like the worship either. Like the music they mm. play is terrible. Well, but I, I mean, well, yeah, truly in Water of Life. Oh, I'm gonna throw another. I just do not like their worship at all because they open mm. with a half hour of worship, singing songs, yeah. and then they go into the sermon. Do not like their worship at all, and I, yeah, it, it conflicts with me theologically how I don't <laughs> like their their worship. I come from a place where I'm like, I like the Catholics where they had the organ off stage and you stood there <laughs> and you sang your hymns to God because you're worshiping God. And well, it, it, Water of Life worship feels more like a concert. And I, uh, anyway, so here's, here's what I'll say about that. Cause it's kind of not, it's not, I was gonna say in defense of it, but it's, it's not in defense of it. Um, well, one, those songs are fucking awful. Anyway. The, the song choices. Yeah. Did you, okay. Cause, cause I could write, I could write one right now. Yeah. Cause we've <laughs> seen that South Park episode. Yeah. It's, it's like, but no, but it's just like the same three or four sentences. It's over and over again. <laughs> and it's like okay you know what god gets it <laughs> but no but to what i was gonna say though is i remember um a professor at chafee when i was doing theater there um she pulled me aside one day uh after a rehearsal or i think it was during a break she pulled me aside just to talk to me because pretty much the warm-ups that uh for the play we were doing mm-hmm. she would always lead the warm-up and they're always very active and very like do this and do that and, that. and i just wasn't about it Okay. That it's not my process as an actor. Like every actor has like their process. Mine wasn't like, oh yeah, get loosened up and blah, 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 like run around and do your. Like I, this wasn't my process. Right. So when she would do these over the top exercises, like I wasn't in it. I wasn't into it. Yeah. So she yeah. pulled me aside one day, and I love her to death. Like she wasn't in the wrong, but she just kind of was like, hey, I just want to make sure like you're here, right? Like in the sense of like yeah. your mind is here. Yeah. And you're was, invested, right? Yeah, and you're, I was like, yeah, like, I'm in it. Like, I'm here. And she's like, you just don't seem to be, like, 100% mm. into the work. And I was just like, I'll be completely honest with you. Yeah, like, those warm-ups, not my shit. Not about it. Yeah. Like, that's not how I get myself ready. But I do it because you fucking have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, as yeah, a cast, yeah, yeah. you have to. And she's like, okay, like, and, and we talked about it. Um, and I'm just not one of those people who's like goes over the top, like yeah, do, 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 like giving the whole like the range. Just I was like, no, I just I only like get into what I need to do. Yeah. Um, and and so sure she understood it, and we were cool. And that's where I was going with that. With this is like you're in it, you're religious, yeah. you're about the faith, but this thing is not your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's truly uh, like you know, every church you go to, you're gonna find problems. And yeah, mine was worship, but uh, mine is worship at Water of Life, and it's one of those things. It's like. God, it's bugging me. God, like I'm praying in church. You're like, God, this worship's terrible. I can't, I can't, I can't fail it. And he's like, okay, well, it's not about you. 
shut up. Close it's your, about me. <laughs> close your eyes. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, you're supposed to be worshiping me, right? So worship me. And Put and, in your you headphones. Know, close your eyes, do the motions, and then uh, sit down and do your thing. Shut up and get on your number. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> Just put it, put in your headphones, deal with it. God tells me that a lot. Just <laughs> shut up. And do. Um, don't like the sermons. Uh, number four, oh, I was going to say real quick about the worship thing. There was a comedian, uh, a, a podcast I listened to, I had a guest on uh, by this other podcaster. His name is Duncan Trussell writer comedian very funny guy but he's militantly atheist okay so when he comes on he starts talking about church i immediately like, okay what dude come on you know come what, at me what, 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 what and he says i'll tell you about my problem about worship music next time you listen to worship music or christian music picture this picture yourself as god and someone <laughs> is singing you this from I mean, like a, an emotional point. And I'm like, holy shit, he's right. And I start listening to worship music. I'm like, oh, uh, that's, okay. what, that's what I was saying. Like God going, okay, I get it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So it's, it it's, it's 10 minutes of like, oh, his name on high. Oh, oh his, his name, name on high. high. Yeah, which, again and again. Yeah. And so, the Catholic, the Catholics is worse. I disagree Catholics with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, a good, a good buddy of mine years ago got married, like super Catholic. I, even I was like, holy shit, dude. Like, this is what you wanted. And <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> well, and, um, <laughs> and, and he, um, but so like, yeah, the, the, it was super uncomfortable. Cause like, this was a, him and his wife have been together for like a decade or two. He and, and his wife. Fuck off. <laughs> and, but, and they clearly love each other. So yeah. I'm not trying to take away from sure. it, but it was the most loveless wedding. Uh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, the, it wasn't like they were up there, like saying their own vows, crying. Like it was just like, they were standing there and the, the pastor was like, Give me two fake names. Yeah, uh, uh, John and Jake. John and Jake in a Catholic church. <laughs> um, but he was like... Oh, they like the couple's names. Yeah. Okay, Timothy and Matilda. Timothy and Matilda, all right. Timmy and Maddie. Um, nice. But he was like, Lord, bless Timothy and Matilda in their marriage. <laughs> oh, Bring them man. forward. And I was like... Good Lord. What the fuck is this? Because I had already been to a Catholic funeral and I was saying, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so then having gone to a wedding, yeah. I was like, what is this cult shit? Yeah, we'd, I, we'd, uh, the friends I mentioned earlier about the kids, whatever. Yeah. They did a, I, I say semi because I thought it was a, a, an actual, it was my first Catholic wedding. I'm like, oh, they're Catholic doing a Catholic wedding. Cool, my first Catholic wedding. I'll get mm -hmm. to see how it is. And I like went through it. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I love tradition. I love that stuff. And afterwards, we're hanging out with them. I was like, yeah, and I get to say it was uh, my first Catholic wedding. They're both like, that was not a Catholic wedding. It was Catholic inspired. <laughs> it is not a Catholic. And they were like laughed me out of the room essentially. No. But it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was two hours of ugh. that loveless. Ugh. It was, it was kind of fun. Cause I was sitting next to the professor I just mentioned. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Her and her guy. I was sitting next to them. She, um, the fuck kill you. <laughs> um, but she and her guy yeah. were sitting next to, I was sitting next to them and like me and him were like, just trashing, like <laughs> quietly trashing the whole thing. Like at one point, the 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 the, the priest, I and he were trashing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to look at it from like if he, if the other person wasn't there, <laughs> no, I, I was trashing. I, I, I don't he care. You okay. understand what I'm yeah, saying? Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, um, <laughs> I do that to people too. So I get it. no. Um, at some point, the, the priest like there was like an altar boy, and the priest like patted him on the head. Oh no! And then they both walked out. Oh no! And so her guy oh. was like. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rough. And um, and there was one moment because it was like under our breath. It wasn't a yeah, huge yeah, 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 yeah. But he and she kept telling him, like, shut the fuck up, like the both of us, yeah. like shut up. And he kind of looked over and he's like, hey, who's this guy in the walls? <laughs> <laughs> and they said like, like why why there so many pictures of this guy getting tortured? Is I would have lost. What's going on? And I was yeah. sitting there just chuckling, oh. and she was like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. It's best when you have like those kind of jokes from someone who's an active goer, like a church goer who makes those kind of jokes. It's yeah. the best. I think I think he might have been an atheist, I'm not sure. Mm. But it was pretty much the three of us. Yeah. And we didn't know anyone else. <laughs> the so, black sheep in the back. Yeah. And so like we were chill we were just like, all right, cool. Yeah. And, and just kind of fucking around. <laughs> church can give some good stories. Um Well we oh, we're we're running long. We gotta get yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. Um they don't like the sermons. Uh, number four, why they don't go. Uh, they they haven't found a house of worship they like. Well, that kind of harkens back to what we were we were um, talking about. Yeah, don't feel welcome or they don't know house of worship in the air. But they don't find a house of worship they like. That's so vague and I believe it. I, I think that's it. fine. And if you went to the Yemen, because that's yeah. our example now. Yeah, and it's like, oh, this one church in this little village. And I like it. Yeah. I'm not going. 
Yeah. Well, so I'm I'm clearly the drinker of the group. Uh, when we lived, I mean, like, like dedic- like my religion. Um, <laughs> no, um, when we lived in Simi Valley, I think I might have mentioned this in a previous episode. There was like this little. There's a couple bars in Simi Valley, uh-huh. um, like Mom and Pop and Family yeah, yeah. Own. And I went to one, and I had for lunch, and I had like two beers, a good beer selection. Had their food; it was good food. And I was like, but I'm not feeling this place. Just don't like it. Just the energy, something like it wasn't bad. It was just like yeah. just something about this place. Anything. Then I gave it a second chance. Same thing. Yeah. Bartender was pleasant, good service. So you can see that being applied to churches. Yes, yeah, so I'm saying. Yeah. Kind of yeah. So there okay, was, yeah, there's a few that. bars in Simi Valley that I went to, the mom and pop places that I was kind of like, these are not bad places. I'm just not feeling it. Hmm. And so I just didn't go. Smart. Okay, yeah. That so makes I just sense. started drinking at home. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> For lunch. <laughs> I do my own religion on my own internally. I my... See, again, harken back to like what I was saying. You do anything on your own. It's just a bad idea. Like you go to bars and you drink with <laughs> no people, matter how you apply and you're it. Like, hey, you know, I think I'm gonna have a seventh beer. And the people around you're like, you know, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, I don't. Th- I think that's kind of sacrilegious. I don't think you should do that. Meanwhile, you're at home like nine. Fuck you. I don't know. Hell yeah. No, no yeah. last call. That's my shit. <laughs> exactly. See, Vegas spoiled me. <laughs> Church is <laughs> bars, man. Um, number that was number four. They don't like a house of worship. They don't like number three. No reason is very important. There's no reason it's very important. There's no, that, that's what it says. Is no reason is very important. That's them. That's it. I mean, the, I'm I'm gonna guess that means they haven't heard a case in favor of going to church. That it's very important. Or they're just like, why don't you go to church? Eh, no reason. It's not really important. Yeah. Anyway, oh, all right. Number that's two, okay. <laughs> number two, and number one. I'm surprised aren't tied for first because they both are. You know, is it gap big? It's it's about ten percent. Difference. Okay. So number two reason why people don't go to church is they are not believers. I feel like that'd be <laughs> number one. I feel like that should be number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that. But then the number one reason is they practice their faith in quote other ways. So that's what kind of what we're yeah, discussing like the with like the the my my beef with you know or the non practicing etc. Or I, not agnosticism to a sense, but like the people who are like, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. I like, you know, do things in my own way. I don't go to church. I go on a hike. It's like, fuck you. Well, I don't think that's what they're referring to in other ways. Well, I mean, so, so another example, because there's people I've met over the years, um, a person in college I knew devout Christian, but they didn't go to church. They actually would go to like, um, I guess it was called a, a, a personal Bible study group. Oh, okay. So every, I'm not sure if it was Sunday morning. Um, it was a chick that I was trying to, yeah, and didn't work. Uh, <laughs> but no, like she, but she would like. I think it was maybe like twice a week. She would meet up with like a group of like five to ten people gotcha. at someone's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And discuss almost, almost. This is going to sound kind of condescending, but it's not supposed to. Almost like a book club. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're like, okay, this week we're going to read this chapter. Yeah, and then they they read it. And they no, come. see, I see no problem with that. That to me is as important as church. Is it's yeah. a collection of people bouncing off ideas. Yes. And saying, you know. But th- but she um, wouldn't go to church. She didn't like church. Right. But gotcha. this is what she would do. More so like that's what in that one. That's kind of what I thought. Okay. Of, yeah. That that actually makes more sense. Yeah. That makes more sense. But I'm surprised that I'm not a believer. Why don't you go to church? Well, I don't believe in it. That's like number one. That, that is <laughs> literally the number one reason not to Maybe go to church. Maybe. Maybe if uh, it was like, you know, I'm a Christian in name only, or I'm a, a Catholic, or I'm a Jewish because I am come from a Jewish family, but I don't really believe it, but I kind of go sometimes. Yeah. Maybe. But maybe. yeah, it's just like, maybe the- That cult... should be number one. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. At least tied. Right, unless they like their their target in the poll was like religious people. Yeah, that's what I was. So maybe that's why I was going to see if uh, that was. But I'm not going to read this whole article. But that's according to CNN. According (laughs) CNN, according to a Pew poll. So, uh, social scientist blah blah. blah. You know, it's funny. I think Dennis Prager Dennis Prager makes this point all the time. Said any study, any poll does one of two things. It either tells you something you already knew, which I think we all kind of like. You know, as we hear this, is like, yeah, okay, yeah, Yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Or they're wrong. They're just completely wrong. Um, well, so there was, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to get into the political debate of this. I'm but always into politics. <laughs> you keep bringing it in. Um, no, uh, there was a not a study, but a theory. Because I guess in the um, the 2016 election, like all the polls pointed to Hillary Clinton. Yeah, yeah. And um, and I'm not here to make a case for either candidate. Like I said, I'm not going to actually get into the politics of it. But but then Trump came out on top, and so all the polls were wrong. And there's a theory, and I'm, I'm wondering if maybe polls like this kind of apply to it. There's a theory that at the time, there were a lot of people who didn't want to say, I'm voting for Trump. Yeah. Yeah. So that way, that way the polls all lean towards Hillary, but then Trump won. Right. 
there was a theory that said maybe people at the time didn't want to say. Oh, 100%. That theory, they don't, that's, yeah. that's a legitimate reason, I think. That's more yeah. than a theory. And then but, like later on, the polls changed. I think once it became president, it's like, okay, now we can say it out loud that we yeah. did it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so there's that theory. And I think in this case, with this poll, there was still probably some of that. Yeah. That's um, why I don't believe in it. That's interesting. Or the one that's like, I feel obligated. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's <I> mean, obligated. <laughs> there's a few people out there like, my sister and you know, friend, I have some friends that are like they truly do love getting up every day and going. That's to my mom. It's like their, mom, yeah. their their life and they love it. And I'm like, you know, good on you. God bless you. Go for it. But I'd say a good majority of people don't go because because that, that anyway. God never asked us to do anything easy. <laughs> I, I I do think you know, you're right. The majority of the people do it because it's putting their hours in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's putting yeah. their hours in. You got to hit so many points if you want to go to heaven. <laughs> Depending on your faith, you could just do the one off and then you're good for the rest of your life. But the criminal and <laughs> 93 years old killed 30 people. Be like, I found and God. I'm, I found God. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's uh, Mitch's list for today. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. You sound really excited and proud of that. That was, I, I thought that was a good one, actually. It was pretty good. It was fun. All right. Well, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Going to church. Yep. Going to church. <laughs> right. Later.